Hey everybody, today we're gonna be making a water cycle in a bag. And to start this, you first gotta know what the water cycle is. Well, the water cycle consists of three major parts. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. And in this experiment, our bag will represent an atmosphere. And eventually the water in the bottom of the bag that we'll put in there will warm up and start sticking to the sides of the bag. Some droplets will be high like clouds, while others will be running down the bag like rain. You might wonder why does this happen? Well, when the bag is heated by the sun, the water turns to a gas through a process called evaporation. In nature, evaporated water goes into the atmosphere, but in our bag, it has nowhere to go. So it ends up building up on the insides of the bag and turning back into a liquid. When that gas turns into a liquid, this is a process called condensation. When the condensated or the condensed water falls back down into the pool, it will act like rain. This is called precipitation. So there you have your evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. So for this experiment, you will need only a couple small little items you'll have in your house. Uh, some tape, a uh, marker, food coloring, a little sandwich bag, and some water and i just got it in a cup for the ease of mixing it so you're gonna start be careful working with the um whether you're cutting your tape or dealing with warm water just don't get burnt or anything that will not be good so you're gonna take your water you're gonna put just a couple of drops of food coloring in it. Let that sit. Take your marker and you're gonna draw, you're gonna draw a sun. This is optional. It just, it should help you understand it. You're gonna draw some clouds. So you have your sun and you have some clouds. Then you're gonna open your bag and be very careful pouring this food coloring because it will make a very big mess. So just carefully pour it into your bag. Leave some air in the bag so it can get warm in there. You're gonna zip it up. You got your sun. Okay, now once you get outside, you're gonna take your bag and your tape. You may have to put a couple more pieces depending on how much water. You're gonna just stick it on there. Make sure it's on there pretty good because it's gotta hold up the bag. And you're gonna look for wherever you think has the most direct sunlight. Mine is right here. You may wanna put an extra piece of tape on there as well. just to make sure it stays up. So 
so here's our bag. We have our sun, our clouds, and our water. Now we'll wait a couple hours to see what we end up with. Okay, so once your bag has been sitting for a little bit and you come out here and look, you will notice that once the water has evaporated into the atmosphere or in our case the bag it evaporates and it cools and condenses in the clouds and once the clouds get too heavy and they can't carry that water anymore they release it and um that is your precipitation which is which is coming out of the cloud and this all results from the sun heating the water causing evaporation and then that turns the liquid into a gas and then once it gets up in the clouds it goes from water vapor to water liquid liquid form of water and falls back down as precipitation rain and that is it i hope you enjoyed the video